okay, so this cassette, I believe is important because it's their cassette. And they're all like, oh, welcome back, everybody. Oh, hi. So that cassette is important because it's it's their band's uh, music. Mm. And you'll see if I walk over here that there's a band, but their car is broken. They don't have any money to fix it. Mm. Ah, dang. So we're going to take their cassette. Where's my cursor? There it is. Oh, I think uh, they were just telling scene. me. So we're going to take their cassette and we're going to go bring it over to the music shop. And I think now that we have a car, yep, now we can just go over here. A bam! So nice. Fast travel is awesome in games like mm. this. Let's actually, okay, fast travel. Do you think it would have been better to have introduced fast travel earlier? No. Do you think that there was an appropriate amount of time in between? Absolutely. I think introducing fast travel at the start of a game is not cheapening the work that the designers and the, the concept artists and all that stuff. I don't I don't want to use that phrase, but like I definitely think it does reduce the quality of the experience you're having in the game. So then the next the, my follow-up question to that is why do you think that it, it reduces the quality of the game? I would say for a game for a game like Skyrim, yes, fast travel can be a blessing, but it also can be a curse. Blessing in that you don't have to spend an hour getting back to whatever town or city and you can just go there, take care of your stuff, and then go right back to where you were. Mm -hmm. However, if you are using, like, I, and I it, maybe Skyrim is not the best example because it only takes you to places you've been. This is important, by the way. That's really creepy. This, we'll find out, is not actually him. Son. Brother. Close enough. Um, I, I, I for... A game like Skyrim is a bad example because A, it only you can only fast travel to places you've been, and with it being Skyrim, a lot of those places are going to be dungeons, they're going to be towers, they're going to be stones, they're going to be whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got like a one experience thing, and then it's done, right? <clears throat> with a game like this, that experience changes depending on what you're doing in the game, depending on what your focus is. If your focus is on the main quest, then yeah, it's going to be really easy to just kind of bounce back and forth, finish the main story, and beat the game. However, if you're doing a lot of side quests and you're trying to figure out what other characters are in this game, by fast traveling, son of a bitch, I forgot about the timer, oh well, um, by fast traveling, you're skipping over potential places where you could pick up quests and items and shit. Why did you shake your head? Because we forgot the timer again. Oh. We've been bad this time. Yeah, we really have been. It's been a weird day. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, we have Sorry had a Sorry, our off day. timing is messed up. But no, okay, so going back to fast traveling, I agree 100%. Um, so the main downfall of introducing something like fast travel too early is that you just miss content that you really don't want the player to miss. Yeah. Um, Skyrim is a great example because if you fast travel, you're going to miss all these secret locations that you're going to discover um, just from roaming the world. I mean, hell, you even miss out on core mechanics of the game like alchemy, yeah. mining. I mean, that's not a core mechanic, but that's... Well, I mean... I mean it, it can... It, they're, they're all useful things to, to learn how to do and to, you know, acquire... Uh, the skills levels for right. Um, That's a bone now. Oh, you gave him a bone. Yeah. That's hey, you, you make... threw him a bone. Hey, that's how you make good soup. Use chicken bones. That's probably a human bone, but you know what? Cannibals, no big deal. He's a bandit in the desert. King bandit. Uh, set it another minute more, just to be sure. Yeah, sorry if these episodes are weirdly timed. We're just... Well, you know. it's also, with this sort of game, it's it really does depend on what kind of progress you make and what it is that we're focusing yeah, on. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing, too, is that I want to make sure that, you know, we make progress. Yeah. The one thing that I, I will drive me crazy in a lot of Let's Plays is... Uh, oh, I can't hug him. I guess that's as much encouragement as I get. Um, but the one thing that I do hate about some Let's Plays is when just nothing happens. Like, good conversation can be good, right? And good banter can be hilarious. Um, right. Aw, thanks, King, But when it buddy. drags, everyone can tell. Yeah, and it's very, very hard to make that work. Like, the Game Grumps, I know we bring them up a lot, but they're a great example of some of the best comment, like, best conversations during a Let's Play. And, you know, to be fair, it's probably because they're a comedy show and not actually a, a Let's Play. Mm -hmm. Also, check this shit out. Fire 
surrounding Dropsy. This king is uh, a little obsessed with us, maybe. That's creepy. Yeah. Did I pee on this before? I don't remember if I did. Let's pee on it just to be sure. Gross. Good job, boy. You already did. Yep, he that's okay. Freak out in happiness. Um, but yeah, like, I, while we're not always the best at it, it's good to like keep good conversation about the actual game going yeah. while we're playing and make good enough progress to actually have things to talk about. So speaking of this game, now I'm all for artsy games. I'm all for you know having a completely different experience in a game environment. Um, the I really do like this game. I I think it presents. Um, certain concepts and ideas that you don't see very often in games in general like mm -hmm. like you were saying earlier communication through pictures as opposed to words um missing content with the faster like there are lots of things that's that's very well done about this game um the artsiness is great i love the pixel art and i love the concept and i like the message that it's really trying to send mm -hmm. um it does sometimes feel a little unfocused though because of how much side questy stuff uh is going on because like at the end of the day your dad's sick you know and it's it, it almost personally I, I i feel that drive like oh i have to go i have to go figure out how to save my dad i have to go figure out how to do this you know so it hits the point where we're like thinking about help doing a side quest to help this person when my dad is sick is like that doesn't seem right it doesn't seem like it should work but you know i i somewhat agree <laughs> oh he's still here maybe he has like a twin that's weird maybe he does I just want to. St oh wait, maybe. No, I. Uh, I get it. I. Just... The, the tent's there. It's right there. I get you see it. it. It's uh, flashing. Why are you doing this to me? I'm just gonna steal it. Huh? Nope. No. Ooh. This yeah. is one point where I sort of wish they had a skippable. Yeah, this, so, I mean, this is still pretty minor, because how much time it are we really losing, minor. like, maybe 15 seconds, right? Yeah, but um, in, in it's, any it's situation those... where you have to experience the exact same thing you just did for a second or sometimes third time, especially in a video game setting... No, I, is... I, I agree. It's, it's, I think, really, it comes down to that that's sort of a polish thing, yeah. like, being able to cut prevent players from having to like waste any time really is generally a good idea yeah okay so we have this guy that's part of the statue card. i thought uh yeah it is part of the statue we don't have the head for it yet though um well, why not well you know actually i don't know if i remember that's not where i wanted to go i think the head is somewhere in here let's go Let's go find it. What was that? Oh, that was the music. Dun, dun. That Great was, I think music. that was actually the uh, the band that we got their cassette for. Oh, cool. That's all it is. It's a great sound. It's a good sound, but I can make millions. They can really go places. So now that we got a little birdie friend, and get something out of here. That might be the head of the statue. Or you can't go up there. Maybe mouse friend? Blah, blah, blah. All right, maybe I'm just crazy. Whoop! No, go the other way. Tell you, man, there's a lot of secrets in this game that I still haven't quite figured out. Mm. This is a little weird with that tree in the center. Every time I see it, I always think that it's uh, blocking the way. No, I think it's just like a like a crevice, like something like I I would have to jump over it or something. Oh you know? yeah. But I got another Huggin', so I mean, that's cool. Huggin'. Huggin'. I'm going to hug him and hug him and hug him. Oh, that's just creepy, Cujo. You're just creepy, Chris. Okay, well, we'll at least make one point of progress before this episode ends and finally go back here. Okay. Oh, I'm going to say really quick. We'll pause. Okay, pause. Actually, we can talk about this. The save interface is but for canceling, and then uh, this thing, a laser, sort of or like a laser to a floppy disk thing. Yeah. 
It's a little counterintuitive the, the first time I did it, and then after that it was like, oh, okay, actually, <sighs> it, it made sense after that. <laughs> I want to say, just in case, I don't think that uh, anything crazy is going to start happening after this. I think this is like another point of being like, all right, now let's see the final performance before we start like really getting ready for the show. Oh no, this is what happens. Okay, so Puppy gets a little curious. Hmm. What you doing, Puppy? He you... smells things. You smell all those With his uh, bloody face. Those Twinkies. Not bloody, he's just got a red nose. Sparky the red nosed puppy. No, don't turn into a Twinkie. No. Puppy. No. So we gotta go rescue him. Where's the puppy go? Puppy went to go pee and got killed. <laughs> Thank Birdie. I'll go get him. And on that note, I believe we're at time. Are we at time? I believe we are. Is it counting up or down? God. <laughs> up. It is counting up. Okay. Opa. Well, we will see you in the next episode in the, in the archives. What the hell happened there? Stay tuned for more jobsies. We'll see you in the next archives. Bye, everybody. We'll see you in the archives. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Jazzy, Jazzy, go upstairs. Jazzy, come on, go upstairs. Jazzy, 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 Jazzy.